आई वी एम हेलो एंड वेलकम एवरीबॉडी टू द फिफ्टी फर्स्ट एपिसोड ऑफ द पॉजिटिवली अनलिमिटेड पॉडकास्ट टुडे द एल्फाबेट हैज रिमाइंडेड मी दैट दिस एपिसोड इज अबाउट वन ऑफ द टफेस्ट लेटर्स अराउंड एक्स and quite literally i'm talking about all the exes we've had in our lives yes i am talking about past relationships that ex who you believe broke you never to put you back together and even that ex who is now your best friend so take a moment and a deep breath and think about your past relationships including the one you stepped out of just recently or the one you may be currently dating but who you'd like to put in the ex box soon and before i go any further Let me just also burst a bubble. Well, you know how I love doing that. But let me burst the bubble that often blocks your heart. The one. Yes, that the one that we are all looking for. Is he or she the one for me? Yes, that the one. That the one is a feeling and not a person. I'm going to say that again. The one is a feeling and not a person. So did I just hear a bunch of y'all go oh oh or even oh no that can't be right well my love it is I will talk about that more in a little bit but first let's talk about all those who we have once loved or thought we loved every relationship you have had had a purpose We choose our partners at different stages of our lives for specific reasons and our subconscious knows this all too well. However, we and our conscious minds will eventually play the blame game and stew in the poor me cauldron if and when the relationship ends. So let me also say this today. I don't want to hurt anyone or I don't want to let them down is overrated. because the truth of duality is that sometimes we come into each other's life to be the villain to hurt to crack open a part of a person to allow the light through so if you have hurt someone forgive yourself and ask yourself this what did that relationship that incident show me about myself and for those relationships where you were on the receiving end what did that person that relationship reveal to you about yourself For one moment look back at your past relationships to answer this question what aspects of myself my thinking my behavior my desires did my ex reveal the x factor yes that's what the letter x is about today and it's time to understand how much you have grown and evolved through every equation sometimes we choose a partner because of a specific belief for instance if you are unhappy with your family and are searching for a different family to be part of and then a few months into the relationship you realize that what you have chosen isn't all light and there are aspects that are intolerable or hurtful in this family setting too and sometimes this reality can be quite chaotic and the relationship will end up causing us a lot of pain does this make that partner a bad partner or a person i don't think so you chose from an incorrect misaligned space and the universe decided to show you the mirror through this person Well understand the lessons that have come through and forgive yourself and your ex for this experience and in time maybe you'll also be able to thank them and the universe and eventually shift that which needs to be brought into alignment I'll give you another example when we ask for a partner who is ambitious and driven well in the case of women you may find a guy who is ambitious doing very well full of life and so driven to succeed but he may not have time for you at least not the amount of time you desire to spend with him there's also a good chance he doesn't have the mind space and in some cases the inclination to plan any romantic gestures leaving you feeling the lack guys y'all on the other hand may realize that this career oriented driven woman has no interest in taking care of you or your home she may simply have other priorities also she may or may not want kids she too may or may not have any time for you your successes or interests yes i may be hitting the stereotypes button a little with these examples but it's only to give you some perspective and to get you thinking when you sit with awareness and acceptance today allow hindsight to show you why you chose the partners you did 
and think about what you really want to experience in your personal space. In a relationship, think about what you want to experience and question the choices that you are making in your present state, whether you are in a relationship or you are single. Instead of allowing your failed relationships or even marriage to turn you into this it's best to be single or I don't believe in marriage kind of person, answer this. What will a relationship fulfill for you in your current life? What's the purpose of this special someone in your life? Also, if you just said companionship, get a dog. A relationship with another person is about much, much more than just company, attention and affection. Besides, that pup is capable of giving you unconditional love. Just saying. So another thing, be aware of the words you speak when you speak of relationships and marriage. Yes, you may never want to get married and that's fine. But question yourself to understand why and then make sure that you make life choices that are aligned to that. Please do not get convenient and convince someone who definitely wants to get married to date you. It's only going to end in pain. Also to those who want to get married for sure, learn to say no to that person who is telling you that marriage is not on their agenda instead of trying to convince them otherwise. If you look at the ex from a different perspective, one that's not filled with angst, maybe then you can see what you need to change or what kind of a person you need to choose to experience that relationship that you desire. Look back to be able to look forward. I have one last perspective to share about the X factor and that is to look back to understand what you are willing and not willing to do in relationships. Also, why are you not willing to do certain things? Is it because it's too much effort? You don't see the point of it? Or you're afraid it'll send out the wrong signal? For instance, the man wants you to dress a certain way and you refuse. What does it make you feel? Is it a question of freedom? Or is it not your style? Or is it just a stubbornness? Just give it a thought and understand, that's all. Or from a woman's perspective, the guy who refuses to buy flowers for his woman, either he has never bought flowers and is possibly shy or intimidated by the idea, or thinks it will build some overbearing expectation, or then it will be read as a commitment of some kind that the guy doesn't want to get into. Think about all those times that you refused to do something your ex asked you to in that relationship. Understand what it was about. And maybe you will avoid repeating certain mistakes or certain actions that led to those painful experiences. Well, these are just a few perspectives from the prism. Our relationships can reveal our darkest fears and our deepest desires. So stop condemning those who have walked with you in the realm of love and think about them as teachers from the school of life. What have your exes taught you about you? Until next Monday, keep listening in to the Positively Unlimited podcast. If there's a topic or mindset you would like me to talk about, please DM me on Instagram. My handle is Positivity Angel. And also, a quick reminder that all previous episodes are on the IVM Podcast website and the IVM Podcast app, which you can download ASAP. May you have a week of loving revelations. Every week comes a show with together to tell you about stuff they like a movie a tv show a book and other stuff tune in every monday on the ivm podcast app to ivm likes batman approves this message thank you batman Filter coffee is a fascinating beverage. You need to pick the right beans, blend them in the right proportion, roast them to perfection, and slow brew at the right temperature to get the perfect cup. Which is exactly like great conversations as well. You need to track down the most interesting minds, get them into their zone, and settle down for an unhurried, unscripted chat. And coffee for me is always, always, always best enjoyed with friends. I'm Karthik Nagarajan, and do share my table as I meet some of the most interesting people I know and sit them down for a strong cup of coffee and an even stronger conversation. Join me every Wednesday for a freshly brewed episode. 
this is not frappe this is the filter coffee podcast <laughs>